Okay, I hear this question all the time. I've heard about Bitcoin, but where can I spend Bitcoin? Well, there are thousands of businesses and individuals accepting Bitcoin for their goods and services today, and I'm gonna show you how to find them. My name's Darren. I help everyday people like you and me use Bitcoin. I've put together all the ways, places, and how to spend your Bitcoin. We're gonna cover how to find these businesses, whether they be online or in person, how you can pay any bill with Bitcoin, a way to buy pretty much anything you want with Bitcoin. And at the end, hopefully I can prove to you that you can live off Bitcoin today and there'll be no need for you ever to hold money that is inflated away, that is held by an, another institution ever again. Now, when you buy something in person, online, 90% of the time, you're pretty much gonna know they take credit card, debit card, or cash. Unless you're an Amex user or that time when they told us that cash was carrying some deadly disease. The problem is how do we find a store that we know takes our specific method of payment like Bitcoin? Well, when I'm looking for food or services, I usually turn to services like Google Maps, but there's nothing on there that really tells me what they accept as payment. There are tools like btcmap.org. This allows you to search for businesses that accept Bitcoin. You pick an area that you're in or you're traveling to. Zooming in here, you can see all the businesses that accept Bitcoin. So let's just check out Orange County as an example. Right away, we can see there's a footwear company, salon, vape shop, lawyers, a coffee company, even a real estate agent. All these people have put their hand up and said, I accept Bitcoin for my services or product. There's other sites out there that you can reference like CoinMap or SatMap um, if you want to search for more, kind of that Google Maps experience. Next thing we can look at are general merchant lists of people who accept Bitcoin. Something like BitList gives you a directory of people and businesses who accept Bitcoin. There are also databases like acceptlightning.com, lightningnetworkstores.com, bitcoinwide.com, and many more. One I really like is BTC server directory. BTC pay is one of the best ways to accept Bitcoin for your business. So if they run a BTC pay server, you know for the most part they're pretty serious and you're gonna have a good checkout experience. If you like using apps on your phone, there is Oshi app. This shows you kind of a list of who is accepting Bitcoin in your area and there's a lot of rewards you can get by buying through the Oshi app. I'll put a list of all these directories in the description so you have them all in one place. Place similar to Amazon where you can query products is something like shop in bit or spend a bit. So for example, if you're looking for like a Google Pixel, you can search it on here and it'll tell you who sells it uh, for Bitcoin. Next place you could turn to are peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces. This is just like your eBay, your Craigslist, your Facebook marketplace. Just like how Bitcoin is peer-to-peer, -peer, people are selling their items or services for Bitcoin online. There is plebeian.market that is built on Noster. You can search for pretty much anything and see if somebody is selling it for Bitcoin. There is also plebeian.com. Sats crap is kind of like an eBay where individuals are selling items there. Again, all you do is find an item you wanna buy, put in your shipping address and check out. Now, if you have Telegram, there is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace on Telegram where there's people all over the world selling their services, items for Bitcoin. With Telegram's new Bitcoin wallet integration, I can definitely see this becoming more and more popular. Okay, so you've searched all these places where you want to spend Bitcoin and you haven't been able to find what you want to buy yet. Well, you could always do a quick Google search of companies that accept Bitcoin. And I think you're gonna be surprised by the results. You have sports teams, musicians, artists, large companies like overstock.com that all accept Bitcoin. Or you could always use an intermediary company that exchange your Bitcoin into gift cards. These companies include coin cards, the Bitcoin company, or BitRefill. What you do is look for a gift card that you want to buy, choose the country, and create an order to purchase it with Bitcoin. Now with these tools, you can pretty much buy anything you want with Bitcoin. But in order to live off Bitcoin, you're probably thinking, well, what about my bill payments? What about my rent? What about my utilities? Well, with companies like Biddy.com, Coinsfer in the USA, Bitcoin Well and Bull Bitcoin, they allow you to send Bitcoin directly to them and they pay any bill that you have. All you have to do is set up your payee in their system. You send them Bitcoin and they pay that bill on your behalf. So this can work with your rent, utility bills, credit card bills. 
Now, if this doesn't scratch your itch, you could always travel around the world. There's communities, countries that all accept Bitcoin, somewhere like El Salvador. Bitcoin is legal tender. From what I heard, not 100% of merchants are accepting Bitcoin yet, but you could have a pretty sweet vacation by just spending your Bitcoin down there. A final tip I recommend is just ask someone if they'll accept Bitcoin, whether it's somebody at your local farmer's market, a local business, and just shut up and see what they say. If a sale's on the line, a business owner is probably gonna stop and think about it. Now, I'm sure lots of times you're gonna get the, no, I'm happy with the, you know, cucked cash that I'm getting. But if one person accepts Bitcoin, that's allowing somebody else in the network to get them thinking about Bitcoin, maybe getting even them using Bitcoin might be worth that conversation. Now, I hope you see how easily it is to spend Bitcoin. There's thousands of businesses, individuals taking it for payment around the world. Now, many people will say, well, nobody wants to spend their Bitcoin. We'll just use our cash until we don't have to anymore, and then I'll use Bitcoin when I need to. Now, honestly, I feel this way too, but I think it is a bit hypocritical. If I want to see a circular economy, if you want to see a circular economy improving on the current system we have today, then we need to start paying for services and products in Bitcoin. In today's world, with the tools we have, you can easily buy back that Bitcoin in seconds, 365 days a year, 24 seven. I do think Bitcoin will succeed regardless if there is thousands of merchants adopting it. But the more people we can help get on the boat of Bitcoin, the more, the easier the transition will be in the future. I really think we are on a tipping point of Bitcoin adoption right now. There's more and more people learning about it, more and more people using it, more and more people accepting it. As I say, first gradually and then suddenly. I put a list in the description of all the services I talked about today. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I'll be happy to help you. Or if you want to learn how to spend Bitcoin, use Bitcoin, I talked about where you can do it. I just didn't really talk about how you do it and how fast it actually is. I have a lot of videos on my channel explaining that. If you want, go check out my channel or send me a message. I'll be happy to help you in any way. If you want a guide to Bitcoin, you can head over to my guide at bitcoinstartingpoint.com. And thanks for watching.